Mistral 7B. Is it better than Lama 2.0 and by how much? In this video, we're going to have a look at the paper of the Mistral 7B model. And then I'm going to show you how you can load the Mistral 7B instruct model into a Google Club notebook. And we're going to do some queries to compare the Mistral 7B model to Lama 2 and have a look at the results. Okay, so this is the original paper of the model. And uh, even over here, it states that the Mistral 7B instruct surpasses on performance and benchmarks the Lama 2 13 billion parameters. So this is only 7 or 7.3 billion parameters, while Lama 2 is more than 13. And uh, the authors are also stating right here that even if this model is only 7 billion parameters, it is outperforming the 13 billion parameters one or two models on all of the benchmarks that they were trying. So why this model is much better compared to one or two? Well, the authors are leveraging two things, grouped query attention, and they give a very quick overview of what this is and sliding window attention which is something very interesting and something that you might want to use when you try to overcome the number of tokens or context length of your large language model and uh, they are also showing a preview of how they do this and they say that the group query attention is actually increasing the inference speed and the memory requirements so you can have a higher batch sizes uh, during inference which is again very helpful and then the sliding window attention is helping you give even uh, lengthier or longer sequences to the large language models. And some of the large language models do have some problems when you are giving it uh, large texts. Some of the parts of the text within the middle are actually not that important to the model compared to the texts at the start or at the end. So if you want to have a deeper look into that, uh, I believe that Microsoft did a research study on how this problem is uh, going to be solved or why it is a problem at all. And another important thing is that the Mistral 7B paper is released under Apache 2.0 license. So it is truly open source model. And yeah, they're also describing here in the paper the architectural details and they're comparing the vanilla attention to the sliding window attention and here in the table below you can see that the window size is uh, as large as the Wama 2.0 yeah they also have another uh, important details of how the model was trained but the results are at least to me at first much more important before diving in into the details of the paper and uh, you can see that these are the benchmarks that are pretty much the standard benchmarks at least for now for evaluating large language models and those benchmarks can be very uh, let's say hard to understand from just from the benchmarks if and how your model is going to perform on the in the real world and for your tasks but they are general enough to give you some level of certainty if the model is actually better compared to previous models and here you can see that the Mistral model is really performing much better compared to all of the Wama 2 models and then the Wama 1 34 billion parameter model so yeah you, you can see that this model is actually performing very well on pretty much everything except this benchmark right here but yeah still this model is only 7.3 7 billion parameters compared to the, all of the rest right here except for the Wama 2 which is uh, Wama 2 7b which is performing much worse on pretty much any of the benchmarks right here the Mistral 7b instruct model is available on Hugging Face by the original authors from Mistral AI and you can see that the model is using a template that is very similar to what you got within Wama 2. You have the start of the sequence and then some instructions which are wrapping the actual instruction. And then you get the output from the model. And then if you want to do a conversation, you're going to just append a new instruction after the output of the model. So this is the way that you can use this template. And this is... Uh, already enabled within the latest version of the transformers if you use this applied chat 
template uh, method on the tokenizer. But in this video, I'm going to show you another approach, which is, uh, in my opinion, a bit simpler. But yeah, if you want to use this and you are going to do this for, let's say, inference and deployment, this is very uh, usable approach using the apply chat template. This is a Google Web Notebook that is already running. And in here, I'm installing the Torch library, the Transformers library, Accelerate, and Bits and Bytes. All of those libraries are actually their respective latest versions. And then I'm loading the Mistral 7B model instruct with the auto model for causal language modeling. I'm also loading the tokenizer from the same repository. And you can see that I'm passing a device map equal to auto. So this will go and put the model on a T4 GPU instance that we are currently running. And then I'm going to what the model into 8-bit format. So this will going to be using the bits and bytes library and the accelerate library in order to what the model into 8-bit thoughts. And then I'm passing in that I want some of the layers to be loaded into 16-bit format at first, and then they're going to be converted into 8-bit. So in order to load the model, you will basically need 5.5 uh, gigabytes of RAM and then for the GPU I'm using only 8.1 gigabytes of VRAM which is uh, very good and then I'm also passing in this generation config I'm going to say that I want this model to run only on 1000 uh, tokens and then the temperature and then I want this to be sampled so the temperature is very low so you might be able to reproduce the results. After loading the model you can use the pipeline from the Hugging Face Transforms library in order to pass in the model, the tokenizer, for, and then we're going to use the text generation pipeline. I want this to return the full text, and then I'm also going to pass in the generation config. And here are some of the configurations required for the tokenizer to set token IDs. And then the important thing here is that I want this model to actually output the text into a stream and this will going to just print the characters or the tokens once they are generated on the system output. So for the text, I'm going to start with something that is very similar to what we did within the WAM2 model overview or preview. What are the pros and cons of ChatGPT versus open source large language models? And here the model is actually returning the list of the pros and the cons. Uh, you can go through those on the in the notebook that is going to be linked down in the description. And you can see that this model took roughly two minutes in order to generate the uh, output of this. And I would say that the output is uh, very good. I like it even better to what I saw on the WAMA 2 notebook so yeah take that for what you wish and then i'm going to generate this function since uh the template format is very similar to one or two i'm going to generate this function and i'm going to take a look at whether or not we have a system prompt and the system prompt is going to be just inputted right here this is taken from the uh, recommendations on the mistral ai page and they are just saying put in the system prompt if you have any right here before the prompt itself. And this is the format that you need to pass in if you want to have to use a system prompt, otherwise just pass in a prompt. And yeah, and this is the template that we're going to use. So again, I'm going to use something that I'm using within the WAMA2 model. Uh, I'm asking the model to be acting as Dwight Cage root from the TV show, The Office. And then I want it to reply with an email and yeah, this is the email that I'm getting, and it's pretty generic. Uh, it says that uh, it is Dwight Cage Root Jr., the assistant regional manager of Dunder Mifflin Paper Company, uh, which is uh, wrong. Yeah. I wanted to introduce myself. Exclusive offer. So, at least in my opinion, the one from the WAMA 2 model, which is, uh, let me show you that right here. Yeah, from the WAMA2 model, we got this email. Greetings from Dunder Mifon. I mean from Beat Farm Shrut. So this response right here, I would say it is much better impersonation of Dwight Cage Root compared 
to what we have here from Mistral 7B. So yeah, I would say that the Lama 2 model, this was the 7B model, is actually performing much better compared to this right here. Uh, also, the inference speed is very comparative, so I would not say that the Mistral is slower or anything like that. And then we have the question for the investment. And here uh, you can go through this long text right here on your own. But the Mistral paper or Mistral model is suggesting a diversified portfolio, inflation, etc. It's important to consider long term goals. Yeah. Dwight Cage root here, and I'm expert on outings, bids, and finance. Okay, so it starts with that it is stating that it is Dwight Schrute, but nothing in the response is actually specific to my Dwight say. Uh, but then on the Wama 2 point site, you can see that the model is performing much better impersonation of Dwight, and you can compare the notebooks right here. So what is the annual profit of shoot farms? On the Mistral, Mistral 7B, shoot farms is a thriving enterprise and our own annual profit is quite substantial. However, I can disclose the exact amount. It's confidential. Okay, so it says that it they have the finest bead farming equipment and the most luxurious office space in is Scranton. Okay, so uh, I would say this is good enough, but again, on the Lama side, I think the response was much better comparing uh, something what Dwight might say. Okay, so for the calling, this is another different realm for the models. And if you recall, the Lama 2 model, uh, I was asking it to write a function in Python that calculates the square of a sum of two numbers. And on the left, the Mistral model created, a, I would say, a very good function of that. And it might be, it might have been a bit shorter, but then uh, it is working all right. And it is giving us an uh, example of how to use the function. But on the side of the Lama, you, you might see that the function is actually wrong. And when I tried the function with 2 and 3, we got 11. And if you take 2 and 3 and then uh, square it, yeah, you can get this number 25 when you're using the sum square function from the Mistral paper. Okay. So again, this is much more accurate and the function works while the Wama 2 function doesn't work. Of course, there is a Wama 2 code specific model, but I'm also going to just take a look at the general models right here. So next we have the split list into three equal parts. I wanted the model to write a function in Python that splits a list into three equal parts and litters a list with a random element for each sublist. And I took the this right here and I took this again right here and I would say that both of those functions are actually performing uh, well the call for them is yeah I would say that actually I like this code a bit better on the Mistral side as well but both functions appear to be working as expected so yeah I would still take this one compared to the WOW model next I'm passing in part of the text from the WAMA2 paper to the model and I want the model to describe the benefits and then the Mistral paper uh, it's specifying the benefits but I would say that most of the text right here and again you can see it into the notebook the whole text uh, I really like the way that the WAMA2 model is providing a uh, very succinct summary and it is ordering it within this nice list and this is much more easier to read compared to what we had right here so i would say that the wama 2 model is performing uh, much better on the text side right here 
And for the next task, uh, I had this markdown table, which is originally from the WAMA2 model paper. And uh, I'm talking about this reading comprehension. Let me just increase this. Yeah, this reading comprehension. table uh, you can see that we had the WAMA1 model and then the WAMA2 model co compared on different benchmarks and I'm mostly interested into the WAMA2 7 billion parameter and when I call this uh, paper with this uh, when I call the model with the markdown table right here and I ask the question extract the reading comprehension score for WAMA2 7 billion parameters it says that the number is 61.3, uh, which is, I believe, correct. Let me just double check this. 61.3 on WAMA2. Yeah, exactly. And for the WAMA2, the response is, uh, this will output the value of the reading comprehension, which is 58.5. And it is talking about a way to get this value, which is, uh, I haven't read the script, but the, the final value is incorrect. Okay, so the next task was a bit more complex. Calculate how much better percent percentage increase is WAMA2 versus WAMA1 7B on reading comprehension. And these are the responses. If you recall, the WAMA2 model is uh, just giving us this hint, use reading comprehension from the table. And then it says, please let me know if you need any further clarification, which is, uh, of course, not the answer to our question. And let's check the output of the Mistral 7B model on our, our last question. And you can see that it is giving us a correct formula. And these are the correct values for the comprehension score for WAMA2 and WAMA1. And if I subtract the 58.5 from 61.3, we'll get this number, which is correct. And then if I divide 2.8 by 58.5, you'll see that actually the result is not correct and the Mistral 7B is actually doing a calculation error. So the model is uh, not going to give you the best or the correct response. This is the correct response in percentage terms, roughly 4.79. And it says that it is 4.82. So it did make a mistake right here. So yeah, I would say that the Mistral 7B model is much better and odd reasoning, math coding compared to WAMA2, but WAMA2 is uh, performing very well when you're talking about summarization and writing texts, etc. So if you like this video, please like, share and subscribe. Also join the Discord channel that I'm going to link down into the description. Thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.